Hello everyone and welcome to this week's Extend Script tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to make a script that randomizes both the item and the layer labels of your After Effects project. And this will allow you to both check whether you want to do specifically the items and or the layers. And once we have a comp selected and some items in our project, we can click on random and it's then going to each time randomize all of the label colors as you can see inside of our comp. And we can also randomize everything inside of the project panel or the items. And also if you guys are using Brave Browser by chance instead of Google Chrome or Firefox, you can now uh, donate basic attention token if you want to help support the channel. I have been verified, so you can donate as much as you'd like. So this is going to be a fairly simple script, but the main purpose of today is to go over how to change the labels of things as well as randomize them. And you can extrapolate on this to either group them in different types of layers and have different colors for each type or however you want to. So let's go ahead and dive right in and create a new JavaScript file and zoom in a bit. Let's start by making the UI. So we need to have this box here, our main window, a group for these checkboxes and a button to initiate all of the things. So we'll start off by creating a new window called main window. First parameter, it needs to be a palette type. And then we'll just call it random labels. And then we'll also set it to be undefined in terms of size and position. And then for our main window, we're going to take the orientation and set it to column. So all of the groups we set inside of it will go from top to bottom. And then we need to create two groups. So I'll just say group one is equal to our main window. We'll add a group and we'll just call it group one. And we're also going to set the orientation of group one to go from left to right. So we'll say orientation is equal to row. And then I can just copy my group one here and change one to two. And I don't need to set the orientation of this because we're just going to put a single button. But if you wanted to put multiple things in it going from left to right, you can use, of course, row. All right, so now we need to populate the first group with our checkboxes. So I'll create a variable called items checkbox. We'll set this equal to our group one. We'll create a checkbox, undefined size and position, and we'll just say items. And then by default, you can choose whether you want it to be selected or not. So I'm gonna go ahead and say items checkbox dot value. And we need to set it to either true or false. If it's true, it will be checked by default. And if it's false, it will not be. And then we can just go ahead and copy and paste this and change items here to layers. And then just update it down here and change the text that says items to layers. And then lastly, we can go ahead and create this randomize button. So inside of group two, I'm going to create a variable called button and set this to group two dot add. We're going to add a button with undefined size and we'll just say randomize. Now we can go ahead and preview this by calling our main window, centering it, and then also we can show it as well. So now when I make sure I'm connected to After Effects and I run it, we have the same UI and now we just need to put in the functionality of whether we're going to randomize the label for the items or the layers and also the button on click to initiate everything. Inside of the scripting guide, if you type in dot label, uh, depending on which scripting guide you're using, you may only see one result, and that is to change the item label. But uh, this is the CS6 guide, which is obviously quite old at this point. It is possible, of course, to do layers as well. And there is a bit of a trick in that sometimes it doesn't change the layer labels. So we're going to have a little workaround to get around that. It should be noted also in regards to it not showing that you can change the label to layers inside of this guide. If you type in dot selected, um, you can see that uh, you can get the selected and set the selected items as well. But if you look for if you can change uh, the layers to be selected, it's also not in the guide. So anytime you're not sure if something's supported, just try coding it or look into the newest scripting guide. All right, so to initiate the functions, we need to grab our button and say on click is equal to a function. And inside of here, we're gonna check if the items checkbox is true and if the layers checkbox is true. So I'll create an if statement and we're gonna check if our items checkbox dot value is equal to true. And we're gonna use two equals to check the equivalency because if we set one equals, it's going to set the value instead. So we're going to check if it's true, and then I'll copy and paste this below to also check for the layers checkbox. So if we wanted to, we could put in an alert to say 
items true. And for the layers, we could say layers true. So if I run it, it can get items true and layers true. And if I just select an individual one, it will only appear for that particular case. So now again, referring to the guide here, we can go to dot label. So it, it tells us that this will change the label here and the colors are represented by their number, zero for no label and one to 16 for any one of the presets inside of the label preferences. And of course, unfortunately, at this point, we cannot set custom label colors. This would be super useful to create sort of themes and different designs for After Effects users. But as you can see, it requires an integer from zero to 16 and it's both read and write so we can read it and then change the value. Looking inside of After Effects, um, you can click on the label colors and we have none, which would be the zero value. And all of these are one to 16. And if we go into the labels inside of our After Effects preferences, we can change the names of these to be whatever we want and then change the colors customly um, and then have the default set up here as well. But we're just gonna be using the basic After Effects um, label colors. So now we know if the items checkbox is true, um, we're, we're going to want to randomize the labels for the items. So what I'm going to do is call a function called randomize item labels. We're not going to require any arguments for this because we can simply just loop through all of our project items very easily. So I'll create a new function down here called randomize item labels. And all we're going to do is create a for loop and loop through the number of items in our project. So we'll create a variable called i, set that equal to one. And for i is less than or equal to our app.project, referring to After Effects, and the number of items in that project, increment i by one. And then each time through, for each item, we're gonna say app.project.itemi.label. And now we need to set it to that integer value. And what I'm gonna do instead of just saying, set it to five or six or whatever, I'm going to use um, the JavaScript random function. And this is just in the W3 schools guide, which I use all the time. And we'll paste this in here. But this value here, or this function here, will basically only create a value between one and 10. So we want between one and 16. So we'll say 17 right there. And an easy way you can modify this is just to go in here, change the value, and then run it. And we can see all the values we're generating are anywhere between one and 16. So we need to put 17 so that make sure it's below that threshold because we are going to be rounding uh, this random number as well. So it's important that we put it one number above of our max. So that should randomize the label for that. Let's go ahead and test it out here. And I'm gonna uncheck layers so we don't get that alert. And every time I click it, you can see it's changing the label of our items as well as updating them down here if the compositions are open in our project. So that's good. Now we just have to do the same thing for our layers. So inside of the layers checkbox is equal to true. I'm gonna say randomize layer labels. And for this, we're actually gonna check if they have a composition selected. So the way we do this, say if app.project.activeItem is equal to null. That's one possible case, meaning that they don't have a composition selected. The other is I'm gonna invert the logic of this and say app.project.activeItem is an instance of a comp item. And that just means, is this not a comp item? Because they could have a, a folder selected, but uh, we can't go inside of the folder to get our layers, obviously. So if that's the case, if it's null, or if they don't have a composition selected, we're gonna tell them to please select a composition. And then we'll return false to basically get out of this whole bit of code. Um, else, then we want to randomize our layer labels. And we're going to give it an argument, which is our active item. We just checked if the active item was active and that it's a composition. So if it is, then we're going to go ahead and go into our randomized layer labels function and give it our active item, which is a composition. So I'll create this function down here and the argument is just gonna be called comp. Then similar to this, we're just gonna take this for loop and instead of looping through the app.project.num items, we're gonna loop through comp.num layers. And this will go through every single layer inside of whatever comp we give it. And then to randomize the label, it's pretty much the same thing. I'm gonna grab comp.layer i and I can literally just copy and paste this code. 
um, right after the layer. So another option is if you had an array full of integers of maybe the label indexes you like, you could then randomize any of the values inside of here instead of just generating any random label. But in our case, we're just gonna randomize to any color. So now let's go ahead and try and run it and see if we can randomize everything. You can see I'm clicking on it multiple times. It's changing the items every time, but the layers are not changing every time. This is the problem I said that you might come across and we're gonna fix it very simply by moving uh, all of this code first. We want to randomize the layers first if that is an option. I'm not sure the exact reason for this, but I've come across it multiple times. So if we put the items randomization second, and now we go in, select a composition, every time we click it, it's going to randomize both the items and the layers at the same time. And one more thing you might want to do is enclose all of this inside of an app.beginUndo group. We'll just call it label randomize. And then at the end, app.end a new group and that way whenever you change it say you had a million layers and you didn't want to have to undo press ctrl z a million times uh, we could then press undo and it will easily go back and forth between all of the changes we've made so that's going to do it for this video guys i hope you enjoyed if you did be sure to hit subscribe down below and the bell icon to be notified of new videos coming out twice weekly and of course hit thumbs up if you enjoyed the video all of the information and code for this will be in the github link down in the description below where you can also follow us and follow us on instagram down there if you have any questions or comments be sure to leave them down below as well thanks again for watching everyone and we'll see you in the next one